Hello, YouTube. A black ghostly cloud of plasma spread across the sun for three hours on Wednesday, January the 22nd. It was scary. A black translucent cloud appears against the background of the sun's disk. It takes on a bizarre appearance, intertwines and dissipates. It seems that a mysterious ghost appeared right out of the depths of the sun, like in horror movies. The whole phenomenon lasted about three hours. What, what is it? What was it? Science doesn't have an exact answer. It's hard to get rid of the mystical feeling. According to the official message from the Laboratory of Solar Astronomy, at the Space Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences. We're talking about a cold prominence ejection, according to astronomers. In solar physics, a prominence, sometimes referred to as a filament, is a large plasma and magnetic field structure extending outward from the sun's surface, often in a loop shape. Prominences are anchored to the sun's surface in the much brighter photosphere and extend outwards into the solar corona. While the corona consists of extremely hot plasma, prominences contain much cooler plasma, similar in composition to date, to date of the chromosphere. At first, there was a solar flare, and then something came out of the flare. Most likely, this emission consisted of neutral hydrogen. Neutral hydrogen absorbs visible light. That is, it works as a filter or shutter. But it cannot completely eclipse the sun because it is a gas. Therefore, it is visible against the background of a sparkling disk as a black smoke. Here's another apocalyptic scenario for you. The sun spews cloud of such black smoke and completely hides in this suit. Could that be? We don't know. Such prominences, outliers, are still a complete mystery. For the first time, the prominences were observed by the Russian prince Igor Sviatoslavovich, the hero of the Chronicles, words about Igor's regiment. During the solar eclipse on May 1, 1185, when the, soon there will be an anniversary, so don't, don't forget to celebrate. When the sun began to fade, the prince began to watch it closely as he considered the celestial phenomenon to be a bad sign. The moon covered the sun's disk completely, and everyone noticed the charcoal of fires which seemed to be peeking out from behind the black silhouette of the moon. These were the prominences. During eclipses, when they are visible, not against the background of the sun, but on its edge, they just have the color of coals burning out in a furnace. The observation remained in the annals, and science rediscovered the prominences during the solar eclipse of July 18, 1860. Later, scientists realized that the mysterious coal glow consists of hydrogen and helium. The sun is constantly spewing out matter, which partly falls back, partly flies away into space. Prominences, protuberanets in Russian, from the Latin prominence, bubbling, are one of the types of such emissions and the most mysterious. It is still unclear exactly how they appear. The sun is constantly spewing out, spewing out matter that partly falls back, partly flies into space, as I said before. Um, since the, the scientists have observed to have learned to observe prominences at all times, not only during eclipses, but this phenomenon has not become clear. The largest prominence was 800,000 kilometers long, which for the moment, the radius of the entire sun. Most often, 
a prominence's life is ours, but if it rises into the solar atmosphere, it can hover there for days and even months. The primary source of the phenomenon is very strong magnetic anomalies on the surface of the, of the star. The sun's magnetic field is generally responsible um, for everything we call flares and magnetic storms. But that's where our precise knowledge ends. The prominences are generally colder than the surrounding space, yet their temperature is several thousand degrees. But the sun's atmosphere is heated by millions of degrees, which, by the way, is a special mystery. So the prominences are always cold. However, very cold prominences do occur, and this is rare. We have just witnessed, basically, on that Wednesday, such a rarity. There are a few articles devoted to such natural phenomena. They are little observed and almost unexplored, such phenomena. Astronomers say that the phenomenon in question does not directly threaten us. The black ghost disappeared into the atmosphere of the sun, apparently warmed up or simply dispersed. So there will be no magnetic storms, at least directly from this ghost. As it is, there are flares and magnetic storms. And apparently, the next one was expected on the weekend following that Wednesday. Well, we'll see how it goes. The sun is at the peak of its activity, and the minimum will remain there during this year. Another thing is that the eerie sight raises an interesting question. There are records in the annals that the sun seems to be in a haze, dim, Almost, it almost did not shine, according to those chronicles or annals. It always went sideways for people, but meaning bad consequences. Bad weather, crop failures. This happened at least in the 6th century and in the 17th century of common era. Most often they say, these are terrestrial volcanoes, but what if the sun can emit such smoke from itself, and not a cloud, but a lot, and for a long time, then the luminary, the sun, will be wrapped in soot, and it's scary. We have no idea if this happens and what will happen. But the unusual phenomenon is suggestive. That's what I wanted to let you know today. I will keep bringing you interesting facts and uh, developments at the sun and, of course, in our solar system and tie them into some of the uh, actual paranormal phenomena. If you like my videos, please support my research through the links you'll find in the description to this video. Please uh, like my videos and thank you for your attention to my work.